Building a global financial operating system means scaling from millions to billions of users. Hydra will play an important part of that journey, with the first iteration of the protocol already on testnet and being rolled out this year. Let's hear the latest on progress from Hydra engineer Sebastian Nagel. Sebastian, welcome back to Cardano 360. Now, you and the team have recently reached quite an important milestone. That's correct. One or two weeks ago, we opened the first Hydra heads on the public Cardano testnet. Um, so far, we have been using local development uh, networks for, for testing and really tinkering with our Hydra node uh, implementation. But this time we were like targeting the public Cardano testnet, which is very important to test out uh, the behavior uh, on the network, which is very similar to the mainnet, as it has the same parameters, latency and deployment model. So Sebastian, uh, version 04 is, uh, is an important new version, isn't it? Yeah, just recently we cut the release 04, which is the first version which can talk to Cardano testnet, as it was the one we used for our hackathon when we actually connected the first time to the Cardano testnet. It is working, uh, it is already uh, usable, but it's uh, tricky to use, right? So there's lots of things you would need to know, try out, it's a testnet after all. And so there is still some things you need to know, or for example, some sometimes you cannot uh, close a head or something like that. So this is the first version which can talk to the Cardano testnet, but will not be the last one, right? So we are already planning and working on the next version, 0.5, which will have noticeable improvements on, for example, handling rollbacks, which are not done right now. Of course, we need to do that. And this is one of the main things we're working on right now. And in overall, the next version, 0.5, will make it a bit easier to use, more robust to use even on the testnet and, yeah, increase the maturity and the robustness of the whole system uh, as we go along. So is there anything the community can do right now? Release 04 uh, came with a uh, new documentation. Uh, we even have a new website, uh, which is coupled with that. And so head over to hydro.family, a domain name it couldn't pass. Uh, so we just uh, use it for yeah, hosting the documentation for our work, for the work on the Hydro head protocol, noticeably. Instructions, how to try it out, how to do the demo, set it up and use the Hydro node. And it will also contain, as we go along, uh, more in details on the core concepts behind Hydra. Uh, it will contain information about deployment models and example use cases, maybe, uh, how to use Hydra heads. And of course, technical details like the API reference can also be found there. And going forwards, what's the next steps? Of course, we keep on working on implementing the Hydra head protocol. Uh, there is more releases to come, as we should see now, by now that we try to aim on a frequent and regular release cadence. People are expecting a mainnet release of Hydra in June or October. Um, this might happen, but I want to say something about it, really, that there is no de-release of Hydra. We had a couple of versions before, and we'll have a couple of versions as we go along, becoming mature enough to handle transactions on the mainnet. So Hydra, deploying Hydra is not really like flipping a switch and everything will be fast and cheap. It's more that we build a foundation, a piece of technology that the builders of Cardano can actually use and do use to create fast and cheap applications. So as we enable our users, which is the developers of Cardano and developers on Cardano, use Hydra and use Hydra head, you will see some use cases become a bit quicker, a bit cheaper to use. And this is how we basically will roll up Hydra over the next couple of months. Another thing I would like to address is quickly that there is no need for a hard fork for Hydra to be existing. So also means that Hydra is not part of the next hard fork. It will be benefit greatly from the improvements what we will get from the June hard fork and or maybe potential improvements we get from the October hard fork. So Hydra heads will become more capable by, do, by having these benefits, uh, but it's not strictly tied to it. So you will see releases of Hydra, uh, the Hydra node, before, between and after these hard forks. So indeed, that's an important point, uh, Sebastian. Now, if any folks watching this want to get uh, more involved in the Hydra journey, what can they do? As always, I would like to encourage the community and especially developers of our Cardano community to try out what we've built. Uh, head over to the Hydro.Family website. Uh, you will see communication channels in the bottom. We would like to hear from your experience, from your successes, from your failures even, and improve on how what we can do and how to basically add the things you need, learn from your um, requirements and yeah, help basically scaling Cardano, make it more um, capable and ideally more adopted in the future.